Hello my scrappy friends and welcome to my channel today. I cannot believe it is the 1st of July already. Um, so this share is for Scrap the Boys and it is using this beautiful um, mood board. Uh, I was very, very inspired by the colours, the prettiness, the softness and this is the page that I have created. Um, this is a photo of my big boy. It was only a couple of weeks before his 10th birthday and I just... I just captured it and I was like, oh my goodness, look at you, you're all grown up. What I was showing you there is I have obviously cut my cut file in white and I then, uh, on a second piece of, I'm pretty sure it's on textured cardstock, I have used my Cameo to do a pencil line all the way around the outside of the... Um, cut file as well so I've basically removed all of the inner lines and I've just had the cameo trace the outer line in pencil so that I could um, create a wreath of color underneath the paper wreath. The cut file I'm using is from Paige Evans uh, design uh, it's from Paige Evans in the silhouette uh, studio in the silhouette in the in the silhouette store that's what I'm trying to say I'm so sorry um, I've got the ID number here and um, it's not right in front of me so I'll make sure I link it in the description box below I am using mostly blue for this page uh, and you can see I'm just using my watercolors here I don't think that I gessoed this page because I knew what I wanted to do and I was sure that it wouldn't be too too much water Starting with a really light blue and I'm just going all the way around where that pencil line is. Uh, you can see I'm spraying water, uh, so spritz water and then I kind of do splatters of colour and because that water has already been sprayed on there, the colour just blends and moves a little bit. I'm not being overly cautious of where I'm putting colour or how I'm putting colour, I'm just getting it onto the background. Um, I have, so that first bit of the watercolour was slower than the rest of it, uh, but I have sped up the rest of it and I've kept in as much of this as I can for you. Uh, this was the longest part of the process, doing uh, the mixed media around the back. Uh, also, cutting the cut file actually took ages as well, but it's totally worth it. I don't know why I decided to go with a wreath, but the idea popped into my head and I just, I just ran with it. So I'm moving my paper around as well. As you can see, I'm it, it's the same process over and over again. I'm also adding some splatters. If I've got too much water, I'm just using my paper towel to soak it up. If you can hear my voice, I have been sick with a cold. Um, my children very kindly brought it home. Very, very thankful it is only a cold. Knocked me on my butt for a couple of days, but for the most part, um, it's just worn me out more than anything uh, so yeah I'm just adding splatters as well and you can see this is a really really light color which was what I wanted but I did want to add in a bit more of a darker color so I again I'm just using my Prima watercolors still from the same palette uh, and I've gone back in with a darker blue and I'm just moving that color around you can see I just went straight around in that circle This, um, the cut file does only fit one way. Uh, you can see I dried that off with my heat tool. And you can see here I've got that space on the left behind where the florals are and above the photo on the right. You can see I'm just marking that in there. I just wanted to add in a bit more colour. Um, I did want it behind the entire cut file. So I'm just going to go back in and do that again. Starting with some water, then some more of the colour. And I really love this layer. I'm so happy with how it came out. I had this idea in my head. Um, I, if you follow me, you know I don't do a lot of pretty soft pages. Uh, but I did have this idea in my head to go with that mood board. And I really love how this came together. Um, it just came down to patience, I think. And this was a lot of fun, just adding water, adding paint letting the colours move and, and flow. So I have dried that off with my heat gum. What am I doing now? I'm adding splatters. 
think that's the slightly darker color that I um, that I added. No, so I'm going from lightest to darkest. I'm adding tons of splatters in that lightest color. Then I'll add some more colors in the next lightest color, and I believe I go one darker again as well. Yeah, I've got the layout here. So yeah, I'll go a bit darker as well. And yes, it is textured cardstock, and so is the cut file. Uh, white splatters, because why not? And what's next? These are the pink splatters. So I add two different pinks here as well, and you can see I'm just rolling that off again. This first colour was a bit too peachy. Um, and then this second colour, though I really like it, it was, I was kind of like, oh, that's really dark. Oh, is that the second colour? No, this is the second colour now. But I really like it. I like the contrast of it. Um, and it sat on the page long enough to leave the colour there. And I've just soaked that up so it doesn't dry too dark. Okay, so I am going, I haven't moved it yet. I'm going to add some layers behind my photo. All I've done is just grabbed my scrap paper box and I've pulled out pinks and blues. I'm going to add those behind my photo. Um, I, I did pull out quite a few things and I don't add as many as I thought I was going to. But that's okay. I really love how this page came together in the end actually. I think I said that. Okay, so I've got a pink layout. I'm pretty sure I use that frame as well as a layout. I've got that blue and white diagonal stripe, and then this chevron. I'm like, I think I like that. Got some paper from a cocoa vanilla um, midnight paper there, and then I've got this. I think that's the blue one. I've got the layout next to me. I keep looking back at it. And I'm pretty happy with how all that's looking. So I'm going to um, cut my layers so that I've got them exactly how I want them and layer them behind. I'm not sure if I make you watch that. No, I don't. I think I did most of that off camera actually saying that. Uh, I'm not sure why, but I wanted to make sure my layers were all straight. So you can see that's what I'm doing. I'm doing all my layers here. Adding my photo on top. And I'm like, that's not right. That's not how I had it. And I'm going to add that to the blue. It's a little bit too long. Then pulling that chevron. I don't think that piece gets stuck on that one that I was just using. Oh yeah, that pink one, that one there does, that goes there. And here is where I'm going to start turning the page. I'm like, oh, that, that cluster's way bigger than I was intending it to be. What am I going to do? Okay, take it out and turn the page. Try it on the other side. Nope, he's looking the wrong way. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I turn it quite a few times. I really don't like the photo on the left-hand side because of... Um, not so much where his eyes are looking, more um, more the the way his body's facing, because his eyes are actually looking almost back the opposite way. So his body is leaning like to the left of the photo, but his eyes are almost looking to the right. Um, so yeah, so I, I thought I had cut a lot of this out, but obviously I haven't. So I did. I had this whole idea in my head, and I was going to make it work. I was going to tuck it in in that particular place where I started. Uh, and I'm like, I just don't love it there. It's too too much in the center of the page. And I'm like, oh. And I turned it, and I turned it, and I turned it. And I end up with it here. And I'm really happy with how that looks. Um, there is a little bit of the flower under there that I'm like, you know what? I'm quite happy to cover that up. It didn't cut perfectly. And so there my photo shall go. I have pulled this acrylic word from Anna's Craft Cupboard. Um, wonderful. And I'm pulling these 
Uh, I thought these holographic letters were the perfect match. Wonderful You is going to be my title. Um, and I'm, I'm really liking how this is looking. I'm going to muck around with this a little bit just so that um, the wonderful, the, the, the sender on the F fits where the U is in you. I'm going to add an X and an O because my boy always, he always needs kisses and cuddles even when he thinks he doesn't, right? Sure that I'm sure that's how it goes. <laughs> uh, I did pull out a stack of uh, pink and white and blue things. I've got a bowl on my desk with just random die cuts and things. And I did try to put some of these on, but none of them were quite right. I do end up getting a little tab thing. And I remembered that I had that pink that I wanted to add in. This is one of my most favourite pattern papers ever and... I'm a bit sad that so much of it's so much of it is covered up, but I'm kind of not too. Uh, I'm just checking that my white pen is working, and I'm going to add my journaling right on top of my photo. I don't love the way this turned out, but I it's um, readable enough. I can hardly believe that you are only three short wait short weeks away from turning ten. I love your enthusiasm for life and the way you love, and that twinkle in your eyes. Love, Mum. So. This was not a monumental moment or anything. I just, I don't know, something about the photo just captured, captured his sweet personality right then and right there. Um, I'm just showing you that I've added some sequins and I'm going to go in with some splatters as well. This is the, I cannot remember, Silvels uh, Shimmers by Shimmers. And I'm just adding splatters of that around just for a little bit of extra sparkle. I can't remember if I do it on screen or not, but I add in a little bit of stamping uh, above the photo. I've got La La Love You and down underneath the XO, I've got the date and I just stamp those in grey ink. And another close up. And that is my page done. I was a little bit like, oh, how am I going to make this work when I first saw the mood board? But then I went, oh, but it's so pretty. I love it. So, yeah, I found this photo of my boy and I'm really, really glad. The tones in the photo really matched the mood board, I felt, and that's why I picked this photo. Um, and it's, it's, it's my art. It's my therapy and it doesn't cost us, well, it costs us more than it needs to. But anyway, that's a whole different story. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my share today. I cannot wait to see what you do with this very, very beautiful um, soft mood board for this month. Uh, like I said, my inspiration was the soft prettiness and also the colours, obviously. I hope you've enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. I cannot wait to see what you create and I will be back again soon with another share. Thanks for stopping by and happy scrapping.